One thing that we really try to emphasize within our chapter is the difference between service and charitable giving. Service being like hands-on volunteering and charitable giving being um, money donations, just any kind of goods. I am Madeline Lee and I'm the 2015-2016 Service and Giving Chair. The four main national philanthropies for Alpha Sigma Alpha are Special Olympics, Girls on the Run, Estrin Smith Center, and ASA Foundation. Girls on the Run is an organization for girls from third through eighth grade, and it's all about developing them mentally and physically. They train to do a 5K at the end of their program. It's just an activity-based program where they learn about confidence and different healthy lifestyles. The Estrin Smith Center is a center in Pennsylvania, and it's where children with different intellectual disabilities go, and it's for educational needs. So they have like occupational therapy programs, speech therapy programs, different programs to develop them to become more independent as a person. And then ASA Foundation is our organization organization that works more closely with ASA and it develops scholarships to help the women within our chapters. So A Season for Change is an event that um, we started last year. It's an event all about picking a different Bloomington organization every year that we can help on a local basis and the proceeds will go to the Bloomington Nursing and Rehabilitation Center. Crystal Collins and I was the 2014-2015 Service and Giving Chairman for Alpha Sigma Alpha so I am finishing out my term with the Polar Plunge of 2016 and it's a fundraiser that we have to benefit Special Olympics. I like to think the event was quite the success. We've had great support from the community. For a lot of people you tend to forget just how able-bodied that you are and it's not something that people usually kind of like recognize. So with Special Olympics, learning disabilities especially, it's not something you can necessarily see. So while it may be that someone can seem perfectly capable of doing something, they may not be able to. And by jumping into cold water, it's kind of like the ice bucket challenge. Like it may seem kind of ridiculous, but everything you're doing has a purpose, whether you know it or not. We had an athlete from the Monroe County um, District of Special Olympics at the event today and he was so excited to be here. He's done it in the past, he's already offered to come back next year and the year like after that. So it really does affect people whether you know it or not. I think Reagan is a wonderful example of someone that's really involved in service within our chapter. I'm Reagan Kirsch and I'm a senior. We put an emphasis on our value of generosity, which is something that's very important to me. And it's one thing that really drew me to this chapter, is that we live our values through our philanthropy, through our sisterhood. It's always meant a lot to me that we go out as sisters and we impact our community. And with Reagan bringing up um, our values, that's one thing I really love to about our four national philanthropies. It's all about building that confidence and just becoming the best person that you can be and really, really working off each other's differences and not letting you hold that back, but really that just make you define who you are and be the best person that you can be. And that's just what um, service and giving means to me is just helping out in any way that you can. I know better.